Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, coming to you with another pour. I thought I would go back to the days and do a flip cup pour. Might need five of those cups on this canvas, I'm not sure. So I have some leftover paints um, and I'm going to do a flip cup with them. I've I've done several other paintings before this with these colours so I'm going to see what I can get out of these so I'll do probably a five cup flip pour haven't done just a whole flip cup for quite a while so I thought I'd uh, go back and have a go at doing this again which is one of the um, particular uh, techniques that I think I first my very first acrylic pour was with flip cup so i know it's one that um you know you all know and love i suppose or hate whatever results you get will probably dictate so i'll start off with my cups and i've got leftover colors as i uh, mentioned so i'm going to um start i have the navy so i'll pour a bit of probably keep them closer together would be easier. Now these paints are all varying um, densities, varying, some are thicker than others so uh, it might be very interesting because of that reason because they were all meant to do different, I've done different kinds of pores so some are thick and some are thin. So that was a navy and this is a fluoro pink Let's see how I go getting through these. Um, I might put the, this is the cool red, my pouring medium, where I get my paints from and all my gear is in the drop down box because I'm, I am getting asked almost every time now um, where I where, what's my paint recipe or where am I getting my certain things from so it is definitely un underneath the video you will see a little V or see more and you click on that and that's that what will show you all the information you need to know mixing paints links to mixing paints links to varnishing or coating your work links for beginners pause it's all there it's all there. Okay, I'm going to put some white in that. So that was a uh, turquoise beach. So this is obviously just white. It just mixed exactly the same as the rest of them. I have no idea how this will come out. As I've said, it's just um, leftovers. I might put some more. The blue. This is the well. It's my homemade navy. So it's a nice, real dark denim blue. Dark denim, should I say. Uh, go back and use the last bits of the pink. Uh, I have some fluoro orange to throw in the mix. I have some like dirty orange but I'm not real yeah I'll try it to see it's kind of um yeah it looks nice with other colors than what I'm mixing here but I'm not sure if it'll it's kind of like a dirty tangerine color I'm not sure if it'll um, benefit these these particular pour uh, I might add, I have a little bit of black, which is probably not too much should I add to this. Then I have bright yellow left, so in it goes. It's all going in here. This is definitely gonna be a psychedelic kind of pour. I'm not sure where I'll get out of it, if I'll get any cells or any action in there, don't know. Um, 
finish it off we put the navy I suppose I'll put a fair amount of that in so it's going to end up hopefully not well I hope that it's not going to end up too dark so the turquoise beach again except for I have some gold here but I'm not sure that this will I suppose I could just put this gold into a, a little bottle and save it for another day but let's just see in case the metallic might create a whole different look in there who knows who knows right I still have colors left but I will um show you what I'm going to do with those. Let's see this. I may have more than enough paint with these four cups. So let's give this a go. One. Uh, two. Uh, <coughs> they're starting to move. <coughs> oh dear. Let's move them all back up into place. Now I might give a good squirt of, oh, of the white along the top so it kind of sets and floating doesn't it? <laughs> I might give a squirt of white down there, down there, so to give a bit of separation see what we can do with this we might need some more paint I'm not sure so easy whizzy let's get busy just give it a quick drag down and then back up again I suppose some leftovers over the edges because it will be tilted off so look at those cells wow super duper super duper it's always fun doing a flip cut because it's you never know what you're gonna get Wow. Okay, let's give this a little gentle tilt. So just taking your time. Those are amazing. That's amazing. It has got some absolutely stunning elements in it. So I want to take it just nice and slow. Like I said, I've got different density paints in here. So obviously the thinner ones are going to roll over the thicker paints. You down slow, slow. It's nice and slow. That's what I don't want to try and have to stretch it all to tilt over this corner, so I'll do that because that will be easier. Just encouraging that to roll over. colour so right nice and slow just maybe faster would be the thing I'm not sure I just oh look 
look at this, that blue with the navy and the gold is gorgeous. that that's so gorgeous I got some big kind of they look like silicon holes but I think there was only one of these actual paint that actually had silicone in it because I haven't found that I've needed it the pouring medium that I make up myself and get loads of cells with so I don't need the It's like a pink pelican appearing in the bottom right hand corner there. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I love this. Really love that. Oh, I don't wanna I don't wanna tilt back up that way. Love it. Not enjoying that so much, but that might um, when I put the heat on it, that might completely change. Oh, I've got so much paint on this, and there was me thinking that those four little flip cups wouldn't be enough. Look at that. Wow, I haven't done one of these yet. I think it's a wire. Been a while. That is gorgeous. Love it. This will, I'm sure, all change once I put the heat gun on it. So you can either not put the heat gun on, the heat gun will is there to um, disperse air bubbles, you know, helps disperse air bubbles, but also helps bring up cells. So um, I love all this. I'm not so keen on this, but I can see multicolour cells coming through. So I reckon when I give it a whack with the heat gun, I reckon those cells will pop up. Or I might try which I don't recommend the butane torch if you're a beginner or not confident use a heat torch because they're so much safer uh, either way you must have a fire extinguisher and you must wear you know you should be wearing safety gear and a mask but um, I'm gonna hit this one with the butane give it a go see what I can bring up if anything really it's not really doing anything spectacular is it so to me it's so it's so much worth using your heat wand for safety reasons it's a lot easier but that will probably develop on its own now but geez louise that is gorgeous it is gorgeous i haven't done one for such a long time it, it's really sometimes nice going back and going back to where you all started that is gorgeous i am going to absolutely leave that and um leave it to dry and i will put the photos on at the end so thank you so much for joining me on my crazy art journey today this is so much duller through this camera than the actual thing that is strange i wonder if i do it a different angle does it look more colorful <laughs> i'm not sure because it looks so dull in the camera and yet because there's a lot of fluoros in there it's really standing out 
popping your socks off. Pops your socks off. Okie doke, I'm going to get going for today and thank you so much for joining me. Hope you enjoy the four cup flip. Um, I enjoyed going back there with this one. So until tomorrow, please um, take care of yourselves and do something that gives you joy as always. I will be back tomorrow. So I say farewell for now and take care. Bye.